So the first thing that we are going to look at is how in the preparation phase, there is no independent movement of the hand and racket. We're going to look at his coil, okay, and we don't even call it a turn anymore. It's a coil. Look at how the hands are staying in front of the torso and this massive delay that we get on his forehand and every pro forehand. So despite popular belief, taking the racket back early doesn't seem to be what any of the players actually do. And it's not until he's reached about three fourths of his full shoulder turn that he's going to disconnect the racket from the body and make what people consider the pro forehand loop, which is really just a racket drop to the height of the ball. 